Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome to my home. Come in. This is Chateau Gonville sur Enfleur. It's an 18th century and 19th century chateau in Normandy, France, which I bought with my husband Philip four years ago. When we bought it, it was a huge renovation project. It needed everything redoing. So that's what we've been doing for the last four years. We moved here with our two young daughters and ever since we've been learning lots of renovation skills and doing as much as we can ourselves. This is our evening salon. When we renovated, we had to replace all of the fireplaces because they had been damaged during the war. And we were lucky that we were able to source most of these marble fireplaces secondhand. And yeah, I feel like it adds a little bit of charm and character back to the room. One thing that we were lucky that was still preserved was this beautiful 18th century um, moldings that we have in this room. And the height in here, we have four and a half meter ceilings and lots of light coming in from all the windows. So it's a really beautiful space to spend time. You might notice that we have a lot of muck on our windows and that's because at the moment we're undergoing a huge renovation of the facade. So it's an ongoing process. We haven't finished yet, but we're getting there. When we started renovating the chateau, we tried to source elements that would look very in keeping with the period of this chateau. So for example, there was like only about five radiators that were still existing in the chateau and obviously to heat the chateau we needed to buy a lot more and we were lucky that we were able to source these radiators which are replica radiators and they're exactly the same design as ones that we found here in the chateau and wherever possible we were keeping these windows so we've got original windows here so these are 18th century windows with a spaniolette um, openings which are really beautiful so they open it's a really unique way of opening a window but i love it and we quite like to mix contemporary and modern styles. For example, the colour on the walls has a little bit more of that kind of modern feel. And all the furniture in here, we like to source as much as possible secondhand and vintage. For example, this was a little table that we were able to pick up online from an auction house. It was actually from the Carlton Hotel in Paris, so that was really cool. Wherever possible, I like to use contemporary fabrics with a mix of the traditional furniture so it doesn't have too much of that sort of museum feel in here. These back doors that we have were actually not here when we um, bought the chateau. This had all been blocked up with concrete and it had been made into a downstairs shower and toilet and we were lucky enough to find these original doors in an outbuilding and we were able to restore them and with the help of our carpenter Benoit we were able to refit them and put them back. One of the advantages of the back door is that it gives you a nice ventilation through the chateau and out onto our garden, into our back garden here. Through here we created a washroom and it was a completely blank slate and we created some mouldings here with our carpenter Benoit and I had a lot of fun creating this mural which was inspired by the Roman Villa Livia and I decided to make it a little bit Normandy style with the apple, apple trees here. We found this up in the attic and these were lamps that we sourced secondhand. This flooring is Pierre de Bourgogne and it's not original. When we bought the chateau, there was a 1930s floor. We had to take it out because we had to bring in all the electrics, all the plumbing in under the big stone steps at the front under the step under the doors and then right the way here through and under the staircase so it was a massive job and philip literally dug it by hand the trench there was a huge hole in the middle of here and we had to obviously remove all the tiles that were here they weren't original anyway so we decided to take that opportunity to put down this beautiful pierre de bourgogne which is a typical 18th century flooring and i feel like it's perfect and in keeping with the style of our chateau through here we have our dining room which we have recently finished renovating we are still um, looking and sourcing furniture so it's a little bit empty at the moment in this room i went a little bit more kind of daring with the color choice most of the time i'm in my comfort zone when we're painting things green or blue and it was philip's 
decision and he wanted to have a red dining room. It's said to stimulate appetite. And we decided to have all of our friends and family here for Christmas and we ate here in this room and we had beautiful candlelight and I can confirm that the food looked amazing. One of my favorite features in this room is probably these hidden doors. It's a really clever design. And it takes us through into what we are currently working on at the moment, which is our side entrance to our chateau and what I like to call the boot room because basically it's where we chuck all of our coats and our boots and I'm looking forward to getting this done. In here is our kitchen which we finished last summer. It was probably the biggest renovation project we've undertaken since buying the chateau. It's literally the heart of our home. It's where we spend all our time. We also created this island, which we wanted to feel like it was like a big old table that you find in chateau kitchens, but that we transformed into an island. So we didn't want it to feel like just kind of a block in the middle of the room. Philip's favorite feature in our kitchen is probably our La Conche stove, and that's because Philip is the chef in our family. Wherever possible in each of the rooms in our chateau, I do try to do something that's a little bit unique. And in here, I had a lot of fun creating these tiles and learned how to paint and fire tiles. So these are my own design. So we chose this burgundy stone, so it's Pierre de Bourgogne again, and I feel like it looks like it, it was always here. And that's what we try to achieve with this renovation. And every bit of furniture in this kitchen was designed by us and made by our carpenter. Again, it's a really lovely light space and we have a lot of natural light and very high ceilings. When we began designing our kitchen, it all started from this painting, which was one of my Nana's paintings and it hung in her kitchen. I decided to use this as the inspiration for the colors in here and I love to have it in here. I feel like it fits perfectly and obviously reminds me of my Nana. Let's continue upstairs and I can show you some of the guest rooms. Before, when we first bought the chateau, our project was always to open a bed and breakfast here, which we have done and we've run it for the last four years and we closed it in October. These guest rooms are still there. We haven't moved into them yet. I know a lot of people wonder why we haven't moved into them, but this is our first floor where all of our guest rooms were and are. <laughs> so through here, we have our blue room. You'll notice one feature that we have in here is that we have double doors. These are the original 18th century doors and we fitted in these modern doors because as we were a guest house, we needed to have sound insulation. In each of our guest rooms, we wanted to make sure that every room had an ensuite bathroom and it was not always really obvious how to do that. Originally, these were cupboards either side of the chimney and they were a little bit small. So what we ended up doing, which was quite crazy, was shifting this whole panelled wall 10 centimetres, like this much, in order to get enough space to make a toilet on one side with a sink and a shower on the other. And on this side is a shower. And I think one of the most complex things was figuring out how to plumb it. Let's walk through to one of the other guest rooms. This is our green guest room. Maybe one of my favorite rooms actually. And again, I created a lino printed wallpaper, this time inspired by roses, in these two shades of green. And through here used to be a small children's bedroom. And we decided to transform it into the ensuite for this bedroom and we were able to restore this original bath, which was the only bath in the whole chateau. And it was a lot of work. I 
think probably the best feature in this bathroom is sitting in this bathtub and looking out over our front garden and the 13th century village church, which you can just see the spire over there. Through here is the last bedroom that we renovated. And I created again another of my lino printed wallpapers in here. And I think the best feature in this room is probably the alcove bath and shower that we created. A bit of a headache for Philip with the plumbing, but I'm really happy that we, we did it because it's a beautiful feature. And there's also kind of a cool space, which is we have this cupboard here and hidden up in the ceiling of the cupboard is actually a trap door that leads above the alcove. And during the Second World War, the family that previously owned the chateau would hide all of their weapons up there. Okay, shall I show you something that I don't really want to show you? I'm a little bit ashamed of. If you follow me down the corridor into, this would be the 19th century extension. Well, it's not quite finished as you can see. This is what we like to call the rooms of doom. But this gives you a little bit of a glimpse at what the chateau was like when we first bought it. going to be transforming these two rooms into a master suite so if you can use your imagination this is definitely going to be the most spectacular suite when we finish with it and it's going to be a huge transformation it's what we're going to be working on in the next few months so if you don't want to miss out any of the steps of that process of renovating this space definitely subscribe to our channel